Welcome to the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, where two important paintings by George Stubbs have been saved for the nation. The Dingo and the Kangaroo were painted by Stubbs in 1772. They're the first Western paintings of these Australian animals. And it was you, the public, who saved them with your generous donations and with the help of the government, the Art Fund and the Isle O'Fair Family Foundation. The pictures will now be put on show in the historic Queen's House, a 17th century architectural masterpiece designed in Greenwich by Inigo Jones. George Stubbs is best known for his marvellous depictions of 18th century racehorses. And it's as a horse painter that he made his name. But he also painted a number of the exotic animals that fetched up in Britain in the Age of Enlightenment. The rhinoceros, the yak, the zebra, the cheetah. For the kangaroo and the dingo, his primary source were the sketches made by the naturalist Joseph Banks who accompanied Captain James Cook on his first voyage to Australia in 1768. The rough sketches brought back by Banks and the hide of a kangaroo were all that Stubbs had to work with. And the paintings are by no means anatomically perfect. Stubbs's dingo looks more like a cuddly dog than the notoriously vicious predator of the outback and kangaroos are never as sweet and chubby as this. But it's these very eccentricities that make these pictures so fascinating. So thanks to all of you for saving our stubs.